the chemical markers uh, how they are going to useful in the quality control of herbal medicines when we are trying to ensure the quality of any herbal products or any herbal medicines these chemical markers right generally chemical markers means what uh, gen in all the uh, herbal products uh, we are using the herbal materials or medicinal plant materials in the form of crude drug right that may be in the form of uh, decoction in the form of infusion in the form of ashawa arista syrup tablet even in capsule also powder thaila churna there are so many formulations are there in herbal medicines so how these chemical markers chemical markers are nothing but chemical constituents because chemical constituents are only ultimately responsible to give the therapeutic activity right so when they are giving the therapeutic activity definitely that chemical constituents it is well established or it has been proved by someone before long back for example flavonoids flavonols like and the terpenoids or uh, alkaloids or glycosides different types of alkaloid like piperine piperidine propane alkaloid amidazole indole the we we are very very much clear about the structure the uh, what are the uh, nitrogen atoms it is attached uh, what kind of uh, addition it is there what is the functional group we are very much aware about the structure of that particular chemical and also the effect or the pharmacological action what these chemical constituents it is going to give when it will be administered to the patient or in the any biological system whether it is going to give the analgesic activity or anti inflammatory or it is going to reduce the blood sugar or urine sugar or means uh, anti diabetic or uh, hepatoprotective activity or uh, any activity on git like anti acids or uh, uh in uh, glycosidal bitters uh, or it is going to increase the appetite or in different system what is the pharmacological activity it is going to give that is well known or established or proven right so we are taking these chemical markers as a reference right so uh, suppose if you are uh, uh, ensuring the quality of any anti diabetic formulations for example madhumehari madhumehari or madhunashini there is name of the tablet it is available from patanjali right madhunashini if you see the uh, in uh, the wrapper or the label of that particular tablet strip they are mentioning around 20 types of different medicinal plant part right they are using in that formulation say for example momodica charantia or ajadi rakta indica and uh, uh, so on right so uh, we know that uh, what is the type of chemical constituents it is there right so what we are how they are going to helpful when we are uh, trying to find out that uh, uh, whether these are in the proper we first we will do the plc the chromatography chromatography techniques are going to helpful in this case right because the rf value how much it is going to travel along with the solvent that we are going to ensure right so uh, we will be having the reference phytochemicals like uh, for example if i will tell you in ajadi racta indica ajadi uh, ajadi ractin ajadi ractin is the one of the chemical constituents and uh, it is well established that we know the rf value of ajadi ractin so what we will do we will take the extract of that particular drug as a test sample and ajadi ractin pure phytochemical again uh, as a reference sample and that we are going to run into the plc and we are going to see that whether the rf value it is matching with that your test extract or not if it is matching we will be ensure that there is a ajadi ractin in sufficient quantity and uh, uh, this is going to the first step of the quality so likewise these chemical markers are helping in the quality control of herbal medicine selection of chemical markers is crucial for the quality control of herbal medicines right including authentication of 
genuine species because uh, we should know that what is the type of chemical constituent it is there into your herbal medicine first you should be aware that in the formulation or in the medicine what kind of medicinal plant materials or what kind of herbal products has herbal materials has been used in the formulation and individually you should know the name of the plant which genus they belong what species has been taken from which family it is there and in that plant what is the type of chemical supposed to be there which is well established like tobacco nicotine supposed to be there in opium morphine supposed to be there like that so that you will be able to uh, ensure the quality or whether it is that that's what what kind of selection of chemical marker or selection of chemical constituents that is very crucial because then only you will be able to know including authentication of genuine species because we have seen in due to adulteration there are so many adulteration occur because of lack of authentic source uh, lack of uh, knowledge lack of uh, uh, the plant uh, uh, what uh, species they belongs uh, similarity in color similarity in morphology there are so many uh, factors uh, which where uh, the adulteration occur so in that case uh, the authenticity of the genuine species we will going to fail in that because similar looking substances or similar in similarity in color we are mixing up with the original species so in that case again the chemical constituents or chemical markers also it is going to helpful harvesting the best quality of raw materials that is also another biggest uh, challenge right because until and unless because it is not uh, necessary that the same types of medicinal plant you are going to grow in your cultivated cultivated land there is a chances that you may not be able to collect or harvest the best quality of the raw material when it is from the wild source for example sandalwood oil clove or cinnamon bark cinchona bark the chances of mixing it is definitely it will be there so again the chemical markers is going to helpful when we are separating out or when we are picking out the best quality evaluation of post harvesting handling that is also another uh, crucial point because uh, after harvesting uh, again we are going for the drying we are going for the garbling we are uh, doing the so many process uh, post harvesting so during the post harvesting how we are going to hand uh, during the handling uh, how we are going to evaluate or ensuring the quality of uh, herbal products or herbal plant sorry herbal plant material that is also biggest uh, challenge assessment of intermediates and finished products right because uh, it is not that the when we are formulating the uh, herbal medicine there may definitely there uh, may be the intermediates so how we are going to assess that intermediate whether it is going into the right pathway or not whether we are going into the right method or not and also the finished product or the the last product or at least what kind of quality it is having that we need to assess that is also one another challenge so here also the chemical constants or chemical markers it is only going to help you in the scientific manner detection of harmful or toxic ingredients right because uh, that's what i told you in adulteration some adulteration will be intentionally because to increase the bulk quantity for commercial purpose that's what we have discussed in adulteration so in that case uh, when we are going to formulate the herbal medicine we have to remove the harmful and toxic ingredient which has been mixed intentionally or unintentionally so first uh, uh, how to remove first of all we need to detect it so for detection the marker constituents it is going to help you because they the harmful and toxic ingredient they they will be not having any chemical markers because they are toxic ingredient they are not original drug that's what right so likewise it the ideal chemical markers should be the therapeutic components of herbal medicine remember this whatever the chemical marker we are selecting for the ensuring the quality that chemical constraints it is having it should have therapeutic component that's what uh, in classification of crude drug we have seen why we are 
putting the raw sugar root into the alkaloid category we can put in glycoside also we can put in tannin also because the alkaloid contain which is there in raw sugar root that is having in maximum quantity and that is responsible to give the therapeutic components or therapeutic effect or therapeutic value like reserpine and deserpine so these are having anti hypertensive activity <clears throat> because of these constituents only so the reserpine only it is going to be the chemical marker in the case of raulfia morphine is going to be the chemical marker in the case of opium nicotine is going to be the chemical marker in the case of tobacco so that selection of chemical the ideal chemical marker should have definitely should have therapeutic value in that particular herbal medicine however for most of the herbal medicines the therapeutic components have not been fully elucidated and easily monitored most of the herbal medicines like because it is since we have know that the herbal medicines are the mixer of number of medicinal plant materials right so therapeutic component have not been fully elucidated because uh, so many plants uh, uh, still they are giving the anti diabetic activity or hepatoprotective activity but the chemical constants it is not known ki because of which chemical constants present into the crude drug it is giving the therapeutic value we, we don't know right even though it is in use and even though it is been mixed into the formulations and it has not been elucidated the what is the kind of structure it is having what is the kind of functional groups they are having what is the kind of activity they are going to give when it will be administered to the human being right so in that kind in that situation it is going to be challenge bioactive characteristics main synergistic correlatives toxic and the general components may be selected right so we have to know that uh, the constituents or the chemical marker should have uh, activity that's what i told you it should be bioactive whenever it will be administered to the biological system it should show the some kinds of activity or action then only you are going to select that particular chemical as a marker then what is the characteristic features it is having right and uh, uh, the synergistic the what is the kind of activity it is going to increase with the other constituents present into the formulations then correlative toxic toxic effect uh, general components may be selected for the marker the effective use of chemical markers in the quality control of herbal medicine including the selection criteria considering the role and uh, physico chemical factors which may affect the effective use of chemical marker right so that's what ultimately we can see that the chemical marker it is playing major role in quality ensuring because at deep level when the uh, organoleptic evaluation or uh, microscopical evaluation morphological evaluation physical chemical so this when they are going to fail we have to depend on to the main chemical constituents present into the medicinal plant material which is having therapeutic value that if we will target and uh, we will try to trace out with the different chromatographic techniques like thin layer chromatography high performance thin layer chromatography high uh, pressure thin, uh, high pressure liquid chromatography lcms gcm so these chemicals will having the specific and uh, uh, the well known range where they are falling in that we can compare with your test drug or test herbal medicine and we will be able to ensure the particular given sample of herbal medicine fulfilling the quality parameter or not right so likewise we can go through in the chemical markers right coming to the uh, next one